What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be looking at five of the best medieval house tutorials that you can find from any of the content creators on YouTube. These houses are very cool and very easy to build for the most part. All the creators that we're featuring today go through a very detailed description of how to build all of them so you can definitely build all these in your own world. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can see Mythical Sausage's amazing medieval house. If you enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We have a lot of different Minecraft content. So first off today, we are starting off with Blue Nerd, who makes a lot of different medieval houses and other building tutorials in Minecraft. This medieval house specifically though, really caught my eye because of all the detail and the amazing block palette that he uses. I really love this build. He uses a lot of sandstone, and different colors of wood and stone to pair it all together and it looks really nice and very medieval. I really like this build and I definitely want to build something like this in my own world. Next up today we have Classy Kiwi Gaming who creates a very good looking medieval house. The roof structure especially looks very medieval and the detail inside and out is amazing. This house features a similar block palette to the last one but relies a lot more on the wood and stone features for the roof and uh, the base of the house and sandstone kind of inside, but it has a lot of depth which I really like about this build. This house has everything that you could possibly need, it has storage, it has enchanting. Basically it's a very great starter house if you're willing to put in a bit more work and build a very detailed house like this. He does a full tutorial of the video on his channel, so it's very easy to follow along with and build in your own world. Uh, it's all in third person, which I think makes it a lot easier to follow along with the person who's building. So I really like this video and be sure to check it out. The link for it is in the description below. He does a very good job of pairing cobblestone with these other uh, blocks. Cobblestone is a very difficult block to use in some of these builds, but he pulls it off very well and does a great job. So the final product of this house is right here and looks absolutely amazing. He does a great job with the details on the outside with the planters and all the plants and then messing with the uh, surrounding landscape to make it look very broken down and medieval. The landscape features surrounding the build are one of the most important parts for me. So I really love that he went and did the work to add some weeds, uh, lay down some grass and put some uh, mossy cobblestone throughout. It makes it look a lot nicer and a lot more detailed in the end. Overall, the best part about this build is the depth and detail that goes into it. Depth is a very important part of building and Classy Kiwi does a great job in this build of doing all that. Next up we have Mr. Sport who creates a very good house and tower combo which is a very medieval look and he does a great job of using prismarine blocks to give it a blue colored roof which you see a lot in Minecraft medieval buildings and he also uses a very cool texture pack which I think ties the whole medieval theme together. If you've been watching Minecraft YouTube for a long time now, this is actually I think a texture pack that the Syndicate Project used in some of the early days of his world. Not too sure, but it might be a newer version of it. This house really caught my eye, however, because of the beautiful tower and the blue roof that he uses for this build. It's a very different block palette than we've seen in the previous two builds so far, but it takes on the medieval theme in its own way and really does a great job of it. The interior of this build looks very medieval. I especially like the texture pack uh, torch on the wall and how it's flaming like that. Uh, and he also does a great job of making smoke come out of the cauldron and other small details like that that really add to the build in the end. The build of course has a puffing chimney 
and a beautiful tower to go with it covered in leaves because it's been there for a long time. It's a very good build, very detailed, and I definitely would recommend checking out the link below and possibly building it even in your own world. This would also be a great detailed starter house and you could add in uh, a full enchanting room, the bed, everything that you need inside of this. Next up we have a builder named Black Prune who creates a very stylish medieval house. I especially like the top of the roof on this one and how detailed it is. This is another great texture pack uh, for medieval looks. And this house comes with everything that you could need in it. The creator does a great job of doing a full tutorial on this house so it's very easy to follow along with and you can definitely build this yourself. The roof looks amazing and it's all very detailed. The windows and the texture pack he uses are also very nice to medieval and he does a great job of showing off the house in general. There is a lot of good cinematics for this house so you can see just how wonderful it is. He even goes as far as putting buttons on the end of the logs just to add a tiny little detail that not many would notice but it makes the house look better in the end. Signs and trapdoors on the logs all around the house to give it that kind of barrel look and of course leaves and pathways and things like that that really bring the build together. The block palette for this one is stone and wood, very simple blocks and you could definitely build this in your first days of Minecraft. And he even goes as far as showing off a great interior design for it, which of course you can change up, but he does a great job on his own. This house can have everything that you need in it. He goes and puts anvils, barrels, things like that to give you storage and usability and she also has a full enchanting table on the bottom floor of this building. Overall, it's a great detailed build and perfect for your medieval worlds. Last but definitely not least, we have the Mythical Sausage. The Mythical Sausage creates a great medieval build. He has plenty of other builds on his channel, but this one stood out to me, of course, because of the detail and the blue roof. He does it in a different way than Kiwi though and uses a different block palette which I think is very important to show off to show how many different ways you can do similar things in Minecraft. This is of course a much longer build than any others that we've shown but if you're looking for a full build tutorial it's on his channel. It's about a 50 minute video so it will definitely take some time to build but it is definitely worth it in the end because of how great this looks. This is perfect for any medieval world that you're trying to create or if you're trying to create just a little extra house for yourself, this is a great one to use. This wouldn't necessarily be good for a starter house, but definitely for a house later on in your world. Because of its size, you can have plenty of storage, nether portal, enchanting room, everything that you can need in survival, and it'll fit all in this house. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.